to bring it to life with Gail. As you can see today, I'm in my basement. I've been working since, gosh, January on reorganizing and fixing this basement. And it seems that it's a really slow process. I'm hoping by the summer I will have this done, reorganized. And I'm actually taking my craft room from upstairs and I'm moving it in the basement. However, um, I think you heard from my other video, my son was supposed to move out, then things change and now we have the bunnies downstairs. So I cannot use that area until the bunnies are gone. I can't really use paint down here until the bunnies are, are gone. So we're just gonna make the best of it. And today's video is called Quick Flips. What does that mean? These are items that I purchase at um, thrift stores, estate sale, antique, barn, church. And they're just items that just need a little tweak and then I wanna sell it. The first item that is a little bit longer is I purchased this at a barn sale, I wanna say last year, and it's just been sitting around. Um, I love the rustic look of it. I love these square nails on here on each side. So what I decided to do is um, I, I found this basket at a sale and um, I'm just going to go ahead and take it and put it on here and this is something that you can hang on your door um, if you want to change it you can change it with a different basket for different season but I just thought that would be cool or if you don't want to do that you can just put this on here and um, put your mail in it or you can get a couple of smaller ones or two actually side by side and just do uh, gloves mittens whatever so um I decided I was just this is going to be the longest one part of the video um, I wanted to make a floral design out of this um, first thing I did is went ahead and inserted some floral foam I'm gonna put some um, Spanish moss at the bottom and then uh, put my pins in and then I will show you some of the flowers I'm, in, I'm putting in here I don't want to do it too high which is about gonna be this big and then I really want a little flow on this side and um, I even think I'm gonna put the ribbon on here instead of up in here. So let's get started. I went ahead and put my door hook up here so I can work on this corner and you can still see what I'm doing. So I went ahead and grabbed the Spanish moss I got from the Dollar Tree. I do not have any U uh, hooks right now, so I just took some wire and cut it and I'm gonna make my own U, U you hooks and what this does is it holds your moss into your foam so I'm gonna actually take this off around now and I'm just gonna do it and I'll show you so I had gone to a thrift store and I bought this read that had all of these cool pieces of greenery um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use those so let me put this back up here and I'm gonna actually start with these and um, there we go can you all see here yeah I know this is all my floral so um, I'm just going to go ahead and start adding greenery to this before I add florals. And I'm not putting this in any particular order. I'm making sure that I am really filling this with some greens to actually fill it up a little bit. See, I love how it cascades down right there. And then you just keep on going. All right, I'm gonna keep adding. So I have a few more here that I'm just gonna hold on to until I start putting florals in there. Hope that you can all see this. There you go. Um, I have my cutter, let me get my cutter. Sometimes it's trying to keep organizes the hard part. So I purchased this at Walmart. I fell in love with these. I just think they're gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of these. And then I purchased this at the dollar. No, this was Walmart too. This was Walmart as well. They were 97 cents. I just think these two will just look really good together. So I'm actually gonna cut these flowers off and I'm gonna keep the length on them. So I'm going to start in the center here and I'm going to work myself out. Sorry, got to play my eye. All 
I just love doing floral arrangements. Um, I miss working in a flower shop. <laughs> so here, as you notice, I put one like facing one way and one kind of the other way. They're together, uh, the two flowers are, but the other two are facing separate sides. But I want to bring some yellow in there as well. So I'm actually going to bring one here. You know, some people tend to make arrangements and they're so full you can't even tell what flower is where, what, what, what's what. So I just, and then I want to put my height on this side. It's already taken shape. I already love it. Hard part about doing this is when I do things like this, I tend to like it. I want to keep them, but I know I have to put something in my boots for spring. And um, I think this is a great addition to that. I'm just using my wire cutters. Um, they're not really wire cutters, but they work for my florals. So make sure you take those ugly tags off of these flowers. And so now I'm going to come on this side, and I'm going to do one in the in the bottom here. And then I'm going to fill it in with some of these yellow flowers. Always push your greenery up. And I'm going to put one on this side. Look how beautiful that is. I love it. So make sure that you keep. So this was 347 and I've used four. So you have to kind of see what you are using for your flowers because you don't want to, you know, not charge enough for all of their flowers. Even though they do come from Walmart, um, you can price them at different places, but they can be very expensive for floral. Hard. And I think I'm going to put another one right in here. But again, see how it's getting cluttered? So I'm going to skip on that. And I am actually going to bring some more greenery here. And don't be afraid to work with your greenery. Gorgeous. I love this one, how it's coming down again. So we're going to do one on this side. I love how it's coming up. I'm going to use some more yellows. Okay. So now I think we need a yellow in the front here. And we need one here. Look how gorgeous that is. I know it's hard to see. I'm going to move it over so you can look how gorgeous that is. That is calling out springtime. So here I got two more and I think what I do is I just put them like this and see like do I like it, I don't like it. Let me put one back here and I'm actually going to put one back here. Use my glasses. I'm actually going to use more yellow I think right in here in the front so sometimes what you can do like this one has two you can put this up cut it bring your stem back up and make two stems out of one and i'm actually going to put this one here love it and then i see that there is something missing here so And I might just go ahead and use this one here. Yeah, I need something else here. There we go. So, one more step. So out of that, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
eight, I have two stems left. So you just got to kind of do your mat on that. And yeah. So there is my arrangement. I really want to bring a ribbon right here. But now that I'm looking at it, I think I'm going to bring a ribbon right here and put the bow. So that's when it might change if I put my bow here coming down with ribbon. I just got to wait and see when I put it together. So let me go get some ribbon. So what I decided to do, and I plugged in my glue gun because it's not quite ready yet. I'm going to take this ribbon and just put it in the front like so. Okay? Until my ribbon is ready. Then I'm going to take the ribbon. Um, I got this a while back. Gosh, I don't even know. Um, let me just show you. It's 10 yards gallery ribbon. Um... It doesn't say where it comes from. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my ribbon. I cut a tail. I love to do a diagonal. And then I am just going to make a bow. So I'm going to leave a tail hanging. And if it's too long, I can always cut it afterwards. So I, I'm going to twist here. I'm going to make a nice little bow. Now, if you have like pics of a, with a butterfly on it, that would look cute in there. I mean, ooh, dropped it. Okay, so what I did is I'm going to use my stick to wrap my bow because I need the stick to be able to put that bow inside there. So... I'm going to pull it all the way in, push it here, and pull it to the other side. And then you're going to twist it. Ooh, ouch. I'm twisting it so my, my ribbon stays tight together. Okay. And then I'm just going to take my ribbon here and I'm going to cut it. So it's just a simple bow. Let's see here. Make sure it's certainly tight because you don't want it to fall apart. Okay. And then I'm just going to put it up. This is taking like maybe like 20 minutes really because of filming it takes a little longer but okay and then I'm going to add this bow in here so I might have to move this flower a little bit over so I'm going to do that real quick. Then I'm just going to add this flower over here. And then when you have the ribbon around it, you might not need it at all. See, because the bow is so fluffy, we don't even need that at all. See, it fell apart because it, it wasn't tight enough. So I'm going to look for my stick. Oops. I'm going to look for my stick and I'm going to rewire this ribbon. Really like that look. Let me fix this. Okay, so finally got it straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my bow inside of here. If that's not saying hello spring, I don't know what would, would do. So I just wanted to make sure that everything was fixed. Everything looks great. Make sure if you want to recheck your arrangement, you know, make sure that you, all your flowers are not stuck. And just, it's like going over it twice is better than once. And I have to grab my camera.
camera. And here is that arrangement. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love how this one came out. Super quick uh, flip. I'm taking two items and putting them together. Could I charge separately? Yes, I could, but I don't know if I want to. I think I'm going to put them together. I do need to get a hook back there so it will hook up, but that's how it's going to look together. I just think it came out gorgeous. I'm going to be selling this in my boot for $39.99. And now I got stuck. So, fast flip. Down to the next. Okay, so the next item is, I purchased this bouquet of tulips at uh, Walmart, and I just wrapped it up in some of my vintage bags that I had, and just added some purple ribbon. <coughs> Excuse me, I got that frog again. Um, and found this galvanized uh, watering can. Um, I forgot how much I paid for it. Um, it was an Ikea item, and I looked this up this morning, and they're like 20 bucks. So, I'm going to go and clean this up. And how I'm going to display this is I'm going to sell these together. Like somebody just went shopping, but they're waiting to do an arrangement with the tulips in here. I'm just going to set them aside. And I'm going to put $14.95 on this together. Um, I always like I always put um, flowers included or whatever. And I think this looks so cute together. And I'll just bring in that color with the ribbon and everything, like I am so ready to put this in a vase and have a beautiful arrangement on my table. Um, I could do something in the front, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. I think the galvanized is looking amazing. I don't wanna spray paint it and it's fairly in new shape. So I'm going to do it in flip number two. flip number three. I purchased this basket, I believe it was at the church sale. Um, it still has the name in the back, but I'm going to try to wash that off. I'm going to clean this basket off really, really good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and stick a little um, piece of um, branch of cotton. Got those at, I think it was Walmart or the Dollar Tree. Let me see what it says here. It was at the Dollar Tree where you got single stems. These are better than the plastic ones they add. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to fit, it, cut it to fit it in. Or even maybe tie it or put it in the handle. Let me show you. So what I want to, what you're going to need to do is bend it a little bit. And I'm going to stick it right into there and just leave it as is and sell this for $12.95 in my boot. I think the white just adds a little bit more. I can add a ribbon to it, but I think that would be too much this way. They can just decide what they want to do with it, but I think it came out so cute. Sometimes just a little something. So what do y'all think? I think this looks so much better. Um, I love the cotton on there because I could imagine the birds grabbing that to make their nest inside. I love the raffia, it makes it look uh, country and farmhouse, and I really, really like the way this basket, and it's just a five minute flip. On to the next. Okay, continue on with, we had the basket and the rake, we had the tulips and the can, we had the little bird, uh, house basket and now we're going to do this little bird um it's a little bird on a stick and i'm going to i pulled it off doing uh, the after christmas sale at target they had these little wreaths it was three for three dollars at 90 percent off so i grabbed whatever they had i was super excited it do come with a little string because it is a small wreath what i decided to do is i went ahead and remove the bird i'm going to add this little wreath on there and i am simply going to attach this up here like so and then i found this little piece of ribbon i am just going to tie it i'm going to tie it around the stem so give me a second and i'll show you what it looks like this is so simple so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take this ribbon 
that I had laying around and I am just going to tie it around the stem. I'm going to make a little bow if I can. might even be able to remove the bird first. Make the bow and then put the bird on. That's smart. I love this little uh, checkered black and white. You don't want your bow to be too big. I'm going to use my scissors here. I'm going to pull it a little smaller. And I'm going to pull my scissors here and cut this at a diagonal. I love that finished look. Okay, then I'm going to put my bird back on and I'm not going to glue it in case they want to remove it. And look how simple and cute this little bird turned out to be. I can actually glue these on if I want to, but I think I'd rather not in case they want to remove it and do something else with it. And I am going to sell this at my boot for $8.95. Super cute. Okay, so now we're going to go to flip number five. Sometimes flips are just items that you find, like primitive item, like this metal item. It is filthy to the core. Watch this. So all it takes is research, first of all, how much do these go for usually. And then also there is a little, um, it looks like catty with a heart. So I'm thinking, okay, so I'm going to look up that brain and then you just clean things up. Um, could I spray paint this different colors? Yeah, but sometimes it's just best to leave things as they are and I'm going to put this in my boot as well. So cleaning it up and putting it in my boot. This was a really simple flip. It did take some elbow scrubbing to get all the tag off. I just added a little bow and I'm going to add a candle and I'm going to sell this in my boot because it's an original looking piece and I'm going to put $12.95. High five! comes number six it does have a little bird in it I thought about putting some moss coming down but the bird is already being glued on there so I'm just gonna give this a really good cleaning I'm gonna remove the price I know how much I paid for it and just clean it off and I'm gonna put this in my boot for $8.95 so it was super easy I just went ahead and cleaned this up I wish this bird was a little small um, I had a smaller bird and I could have put it here like mom's watching over baby flying for their first time. I was trying to see if I could have put a hook on the roof so you can hang it. But then there is a hook on here already. So my candle holders this one I love the patina of the black like it's been it was, I paid $2.99 I'm actually going to try to find a candle for this one and um, try to remove all of this glue that somebody already started and I'm actually going once I have the pillar on it and I really work it out I'm probably gonna put this one for $10.95 in my boot with the candle on top and maybe even a little wreath Let's see what we can do. So for my candlestick, I decided that I wanted to do something totally different. And um, it is really hard to get those stickers off. So what I decided to do is I'm just gonna make a little bird nest for the way I'm gonna sell it in my boot. And had this, I just took some of my weeping willow branches and I glue, I put some glue in there. I added some spa Spanish moss at the bottom and glued that down. That way it gives it a nice shape. And then I'm just gonna shape this up. Look how cute that is. And I'm gonna put that on top and I'm gonna sell it the way it is. I'm not gonna glue the bird nest on top. That way the person that purchased a candlestick can have a decoration she could remove 
he or he could have a decoration that he wants. And I purchased some birds um, on Amazon. They have not been here yet, but when I do, I will put it in there and take a picture and you will see at the end, the end result for this little uh, candlestick. And I think for $10.95, it's gonna be so adorable. And all it took is some branches from outside and a little Spanish moss and a little bit of imagination. If some of you wanna see how I did, made this um, bird nest, Please leave me a comment and I will try to have a video on that pretty soon. Thank you. On to the next. Alrighty, we're on a roll today. Number eight. I'm going to transform this little bunny. It is a little vase. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of flower. I don't wanna wash him too much because some of the pink on his ear, ear came off. Um, I know that he's vintage, he's old looking. So let's see what we can do with Mr. Bunny. So I went ahead and washed him up and I went into my stash and I got a little piece of foam. I got a little bit of moss and then from a wreath that I had and I think those are these are just from the same uh, flowers that I used for my um, rake basket, the number one idea. I just thought how cute would this be in here just like that. So I'm going to, this only needs a little piece of foam you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead in here and I am just gonna measure, I don't even need that much. So I'm gonna cut the foam. Small floral arrangements are always fun to make and then I'm just gonna measure. Don't wanna leave it too high. Make it fit into his little hole there. Make sure. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect fit. And um, in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and glue some of the moss down. But it's still removable, so you don't want too much. So I'm going to put a little dab of glue here. Usually I like to use those U-pin, but in this case, this is so small that I just decided to use uh, my glue gun. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on top. And then that's when you can come back and you, what I call haircuts. I'm just gonna give this moss a haircut. And then, he is so cute. Move all this around here. And then I'm just going to take my little pig and simply put it inside of the foam. This is so simple. And then you just fix it like it's a growing plant. And look how stinking cute this is. I think he came out so cute. So easy, within five minutes, I took a little bunny that was $1.50 and I am going to put, um, since it is a spring item, I'm going to put this one for $7.95 in my boot. Hope he hops out of the boot. flip this is really simple um i found these little mini how to make blueberry cobbler plates i looked these up online and the low is 25 and the high was 35. so what a treasure um i looked at the box they're beautiful little plates i think i showed you this in the video they're so adorable at first i thought i was just going to separate them and sell them but i'm going to sell them as a set i'm actually going to keep them in here um, I have not decided on a price yet. Um, I want to I wanna be able to sell these, but I also need to make, I paid $4. So I was thinking I was going to go $15 or $14.95 on this little set. I think it's a cute set. Um, I'm still making some money. And someone that, um, I'm from the um, 
New Brunswick, Canada, where we're right next to Maine, and blueberries are a huge thing there. So I just thought that they were really cute, and it reminds me of home, but I think I'm going to go ahead and let them go in my boot for $14.95. I'm just going to take the tape off, and what a fast flip. Sometimes I get lucky like that. measure I'm gonna put a little piece of foam in here I'm just gonna cut it fit it in here I am going to add a little bit of moss to it so I'm gonna plug in my glue gun put a little moss and choose some flowers you all tell me what you think when I'm done okay so I put the foam in the bottom I have my glue gun a uh, little bit of glue on the top here not quite ready, I think. I love these little glue guns from the Dollar Tree. They do the job just right. So then I'm just going to take my moss. And I'm just going to cover my greenery like so. And you all know me. It's got to get a haircut. Little snip of haircut. And using a little bird candle holder for something totally different. I think this would be cute. Um, I purchased these last year at Walmart. I think they were 97 cents each. And I just love this purple color for spring. And I don't want to make these too tall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this here. Snap this. I am going to put a little bit of glue on here because I don't want it to fall out. And you, I always start in the center. Push that in there. It's already looking cute. Look at that. Then I'm just going to add. So then I'm going to go. Where did I push it at? Ah. Um, then I'm just going to add some greenery here. I'm just going to push the stems out. So this one here can have multiple uses. I'll cut it. And these are easy. You just cut the stem a little bit and they just come off. And then I can put this as low as I want. And then what you do is you just bend this a little bit so it doesn't come off. A little glue at the bottom. And I'm going to put it in here. There we go. Another little stem here. This one's kind of long. This one's a little too long, and this is not uh, on a wire, so I'm going to save that one for later on. And um, do I want a little white flower in there? Yeah, maybe so. And push these down. Because you can always use these other stems for something else. So I'm going to cut this stem right here. Snap it where I cut it so easy coming off. A little bit of glue. And I'm going to put this one right here. And then a little bit more greenery. So. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this stem here. And I'm going to build my own stem here. Um, that way I don't have to re ruin the whole, um, so I'm going to pull this off, I'm going to pull this off, and I'm going to use this little stem here, put this inside here, there we go, and I'm going to add that to this as well, and you just work with it, you just do what you can, and I need something lower, Something right here, and then I will call it a day. Snap. Ta da! Little glue. And I need something green right here. There we go. And there you have it a cute, 
fast little flip to put in my boot. I even thought about putting something else here, but I don't see, I don't have any ribbon down here. Hmm. Maybe another greenery, maybe another purple flower. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to move, I'm going to take this stem. I think it needs another purple flower. I can cut it off enough, I guess. It's right there. There it goes. I'm going to put this in here. You just make your own stems. Push it in. Add a little bit more glue. And you're just going to push this in here. Now it's better. A quick flip for my boot. What do y'all think? So that concludes the 10 first quick flips of this series. Um, I'm going to try to have a video almost every day for this week. And hopefully that you guys will enjoy it. Um, I'm going to do my best to do that. But these first 10 flips are for you to enjoy. Let me know which one is your favorite. Also, um, this week I am going to try to do a couple of more craft series. And hey, I can do that. I didn't forget about those videos. So that is coming up. Please like, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like and comment and share my videos so other people can enjoy some of the things that I do. Hopefully, um, you enjoy it too. I thank you from the bottom of my heart and we will see you next week because I bring things home. I bring it with love and I bring it to life. Thanks for watching.